Yo, right, guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today it's Boxing Day, MK Dons versus Colchester. I'm making my return after I missed the last one against Morecambe. Unfortunately, I was working. So today, Dons, who's sitting ninth, playing Colchester, who's sitting 22nd. Obviously, last time out we played them, we beat them 3 2 to thanks to a 101st minute winner by Matt this, which sent me absolutely mental. So today, obviously, what I'm beating in the last seven, hoping to make it eight. I'm going to go with a 5 0 win to MK Dons. I'm feeling very, very optimistic today. Obviously, they're 22nds. They only won one in the last six. We're on a really, really good bounce at the moment. So I'm, I'm going to go for Max Dean, Hattrick, Joe Tomlinson and Jack Payne. A little Chris present I got as well. You can see Don's staying in there in the background. Very happy. I've got, I've got a couple of new scarves as well. But yeah, I was going to meet Josh, his dad and our new friend of ours who will be joining us today. Um, just outside the house now. So we'll catch you in a second. See you there. So I'm Chris, back here with Chris, a Colchester fan. How are you, how are you doing today? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you too. Looking forward to the game today? Yeah, I think it will be, I mean, it's, uh, it's a great stadium to come to. Yeah. I think we're always really, you know, looking, for, always look out for this fixture, although it is often, you know, around this time of year. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, nice, nice to be back in the same division, I guess. Yeah. But, but yeah, no, it's, it's a nice place to come, relatively straightforward drive. But yeah, yeah I don't have a lot of hope for three points today. I'm yeah. sure that, uh, you know, we're definitely clear underdogs and I think that, that makes sense and you know you guys seem to be flying at the minute. So. What, what player do you think we should look out for today if any? Uh, that's a bit of a tricky one really I don't think we've really got any, any standouts um, I think you know, generally speaking this season our case has been probably one of our better yeah. players Owen Goodman on loan from Crystal Palace I think he's probably got maybe not a Premier League career in him but I think he's got a decent future in the game and Joe Taylor obviously we've got him on loan from Luton yeah he worries that he'll get recalled in January but, yeah you know for to be scoring the amount of goals that he has for a team that creates not a lot of chances and definitely don't put yeah. many away then I think he's okay. obviously he's had a great season well, what's your score prediction for today <laughs> I think negatively I think they're going to get battered like 3-0 today yeah. but you know if we keep it tight which I don't really trust us to do then maybe we can we can nick one I don't imagine that we're going to have a lot of the ball um, so, so yeah, if we, if we can, you know, look defensively solid, yeah. then maybe, maybe we can dig something, but yeah, not, not a lot of hope. Well, yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, hopefully it's not as close to last time, because obviously we got, we got a last minute win the last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that for you as a home fan watching that? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I was there, but, you know, we, over the years, I think, conceding late goals is, is very, is very standard for us. I think, you know, seasons gone by, we've always dropped a lot of points in the last 15, sometimes yeah. even in stoppage time. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that there'll there'll be there'll be plenty of that today because I'm sure we're not going to want the ball in play that much. But but you yeah. guys like to keep it on the floor, so yeah, of course. So, yeah, I think it's the order of the day is just frustrating. Well, we can. But right, cool. Right. I hope you have a good Christmas, have a good New Year as well. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Time, come on, your dogs.
Quick half time view for MK Dons nil, Colchester nil. I think we've had quite a lot of shots, quite a lot of the ball, it's not enough end products overall. Alex Gilby probably should have scored, he had two rebounds, he probably should have put away. But Lepo looked to, has looked alright, these are a few chances as well. Um, Lewis has been going forward quite a lot, which is shocking. Um, but I think second half, Grant needs to come on, we need to get DeVore in as well, um, get a bit more flair out front. I've been going Ellis Harrison towards the end of the second half as well. I chose my score position, I want to go probably 2 1 Don second half. Colchester looked alright on the break, so they could potentially get a goal. But yeah, second half, that's kick, get out of the way. Come on, you Doms. Deliveries into the corner or into the box. He's on, he's on, he's on. Tried to do an overhead kick. <laughs> Oh! 
Come on, put a better ball in this time, get it to one of our players. Go on! No! I would have just, I would have pushed up the line. Come on, quick up. It's going to go back to MJ. MJ's going to give it back to Warner Horrell. They just they lining up in threes against us. No, because Gilby was. That way, that way. Come on, far post, put it far post. Colin Harrison.
All right, it's so a full-time MK Dons won the Colchester deal. 89th minute winner by Ellis Harrison. Um, I'll be honest, I was calling for him to come on. I said that he should have come on instead of Mo. I don't think Mo should have come onto the pitch. Harrison comes on, brilliant balling from Jack Payne. Harrison gets his chance, takes his chance. Absolutely brilliant header at the back post. But I feel like Dons today, I think we were lucky to get a win. But a lot of the ball, a lot of shots blocked. A lot of shots on target, a lot of shots off target. But they, I know they had a goal ruled out offside in the 93rd minute right at the end. But... We were tired from the Morecambe game. The squad depth at the moment, I think, is really, really thin. Like Harvey's injured. I think he should be back in a couple of weeks, hopefully not too long. Tucker, we need back. We need a bit of oomph up front. I don't know where that's going to come. It could come from Denango coming in January, potentially. I think that's one stuff we're definitely going to be linked with. Um, Kemp coming back again. That could be a boost if it, if it does happen. I personally think it will. But we need something more in that attacking position. Leko, I think he got off to a decent start sort of dragged out throughout the game didn't do particularly much after the first sort of 10-15 minutes um, I think Jack Payne again was playing deep today I think he was playing well next to Robson that's the midfield two that I definitely will see going forward in the future but we just need a bit more in sort of Leco's role we need something like Minion and Tacker we need Flair off the bench we're what I think we're six points behind Notts County with game in hand um, something like that we, we're close we're close to autos we're now in playoffs we need to make a push Get the squad depth in January. Get winning his players in January. Let's push for autos because we've got the starting eleven to do it. All we need is the additional squad depth. And like I said, defender, wing back, centre midfielder, and attacker. And I think we'll be right up there with lots of Wrexham, Stockport, and Mansfield. Big win on to Friday. Come on, you dons.